probably another one this year and also a proper real remix competition with a real song, real prizes and a release on my accents label. Welcome guys, welcome to the studio. I just absolutely, absolutely love this place. The best part about this place, that it's all mine and I've been working for now almost 15 years in the music industry and it took that long to make this place happen. And it's really just amazing having so much space, the nice view onto the water. Finally, a vocal recording booth that isn't done yet but I have a place to record vocals properly. And the same here with the studio, I now have a proper place that is acoustically treated to make music and to make music in a fast and efficient way. All of that is great, amazing, but there's just one catch, at least at the moment. My two Yamaha speakers aren't working, so there is no way for me making music today. I ordered new speakers, they should arrive soon two new speakers for this studio and of course two huge speakers for for this studio that is still under construction one speaker here another one there huge big speakers for this huge big room this will be a whole lot of fun hopefully next week but i don't know yet i think they still have to construct that speaker because um actually no one's so stupid and orders them so all of this really feels great i i would have never imagined that i would get ever in my life to a place like this. Being able to have my own studio, being able to have a team that is working with me, helping me to make all of this possible. But today actually no one of them is here. Like, um, as you know, all of the Accents team members, all of the people that take care of the label management and the studio management, they only work here partially, like a couple of days a week, two or three days a week. I really want to make sure that they have the rest of the week time to develop their own music. They can also use this place to make whatever they feel like. And to be honest, as much as I love them, I'm not a people's person that much. I like to have like two or three days being here on my own and just taking care of like important business stuff or just making music very concentrated whenever my speakers are not broken. But today it's just like 100% a business day, just taking care of taxes and all these kind of things. So let's just do what we always do and that is a quick edition of Q&A. You ask me questions, I answer them. I hope they will help you. If not, I'm sorry, but uh, it's also totally up to your questions. So let's go. First up, a classic question. What do you think about producing on Biodynamics DT770? I would say go with speakers. Always go with speakers if you can. Um, headphones. Headphones are just for the detailed stuff. Maybe um, detecting a click or noise and vocals or in, in your song in general. And also making sure it sounds good with headphones. But I would suggest you to do 90% of the mixing with speakers in an acoustically treated room if that's possible. If not, then yeah, just go with headphones if you have no other option. Next up, what are the best beginner instrument VSTs? I would just go with the stuff that is for free. First, the stuff that comes with your DAW, it's amazing. Like all of the Logic plugins, they are totally capable of doing everything you will ever need. And then there are a ton of free plugins. Then also some companies have sometimes promotional phases where a plugin is for half of the price or totally for free. And then if you really wanna buy something, I would go either with Diva if you're more into the classic synth sound, or just with Serum if you want to do more like dubstep, future based, a more like electronic, newer kind of sounds. Can you do more of these bad songs competition? Was really good. Yes, there will be more, um, probably another one this year and also a proper real remix competition with a real song, real prizes and a release on my Accents label. Does a song necessarily need vocals for it being released on the Accents label? Yes, yes, it needs vocals. I'm only releasing vocal music. If I ever hear an instrumental that I absolutely love, I will help that person to find vocals and get vocals and then release it if the person 
has even interested in vocals, but so far no instrumentals. How can I win tickets to the World Club Dome? If you didn't know, I'm DJing at the World Club Dome. It's here in Düsseldorf in my hometown with, uh, I don't know, Don Diablo, Hartwell, Marshmallow, Black Eyed Peas, Robin Schultz, and a bunch of other artists, three days. I'm of course just on the smallest stage, but winning tickets for that event, I still don't know. I have to get in contact with the guy organizing everything. It's still three months in the future, so maybe in two months I will know more and hopefully get some tickets. I, I don't know, they're like 120 euros and, and up, so I'm not sure if I even get any. Next up, a person asking why the studio rental. I told you yesterday that you can rent this place for just 80 bucks. I think the studio, the bigger one here, might be maybe 100, 120. It, it really depends on the gear that I will put in here. But yeah, I try to keep it as cheap as possible. I've calculated what everyone else is doing in the city checked it and I came to the conclusion I can make it work for 80 to 100 euros per day. And yes, I know other people charge way more, they charge the same per hour, but um, I'm not really relying on that money. It's just like an extra because this place is way too big just for one person. I also honestly just want to help the community because I know how hard it was when I started, like having a proper place to mix and record vocals. It's almost impossible, so I hope I can help some new producers. So again, if you're interested, there will be the website down below for the entire Accent Studio. Just go check it out, get in touch with us, and as soon as everything is done, you can come here and check out the place for a day or two. Another tough one, someone asking about how to get gigs and that in his area there are no gigs with his kind of music, and he's suggesting or he's asking if he should start his own events. Yes, that's one possibility, but be careful with it because um, like doing an event is a lot of money you have to invest, a lot of risk you have to take. And if you're the only person that likes that kind of style of music, you might end up in a club just by yourself and you still have to pay everything. So be really, really careful. It's maybe wise if you're a producer to just produce that kind of music and hope that one day it will pick up and be big enough and your songs big enough that people will book you internationally. But so it's, it's, it's a long, long, long way really long way. What makes the melody catchy? Wow, that's actually that's actually like an entire vlog topic. In, in short, I would say it needs to be repetitive enough, but not too repetitive that it gets boring. So somewhere in between for any musically trained person, heavily repetitive, and then still have like moments of surprise, like maybe the same three or four um, notes and then you switch it up, go down or up and, and switch it up every four to eight bars just to keep it interesting over the entire time of the song. And the best way to, to test it is just to make a bunch of melodies and listen to them and then maybe not listen to them for two or three hours and just think of those. And the one that you can remind the best is usually the, the catchiest. Could you give some advice on writing big drops? Because drops are the only thing I really struggle with. Drops are the most important, so just start with the drop. Especially at the beginning, try to get as far with it as possible for, before you arrange the entire song. And if you can't come up with a drop that is strong enough, then just, just make the next one. But like specific tips, I don't really have any. It's like a, a too complex topic. A drop consists of like 15 layers at least, and there are a whole lot of factors involved. Where's the best place to actually find singer and songwriters? That's also a tough one. I made an entire video about it, but basically reach out to people online, try and ask your friends, maybe someone in the city is singing, a songwriter, go to events, talk to people, go to concerts, talk to people, just, just be in touch with a bunch of people, be active online or in real life, it, it really doesn't matter. This way you will definitely find someone and then when you got the first two or three songs with vocals out, you can try and get in contact with even better singer and songwriters and just work your way up. If you start out writing the best of the best and, and you're frustrated they're not answering, it's just because you don't have anything to, to, to prove yourself. If they don't know you or you can't even show them any finished production so that they know what you're actually capable of, there's no way they will even answer your emails. That's just the way it works. When is the next Remix competition? This year, definitely this year. It will start this year. I don't know which song, so I will think about it. My, as you know, my hard drive um, kind of disappeared, so I don't have all of my old songs available. Maybe another song of, of one of the other Accents artists 
or maybe hopefully this hard drive can be recovered. I will definitely know for sure tomorrow. Like the guy that is taking care of it, he's now copying the scanned and, and like processed files onto the hard drive. Last question for today. Do you know the Pop Academy in Mannheim? Yes, I know it. If you don't know, it's one of the best music schools, music business schools. And what's your opinion on going to such a music school? I never went to something like that. I teached everything myself. It's definitely the, the longer road to, to kind of making it in the music business. But I think it's also the road that makes sure that you stick to it and that you learn everything. And kind of going to a school is the shortcut. And if you're like me and you don't like other people telling you how to do things, then maybe the school is not the right thing for you. If you don't have any clue and you don't know where to start, then maybe it's the right thing for you. It really depends on your person and, and what you actually want to do. For like a music producer, it's probably not the right thing. For music business, it might be one of the best schools, at least in Germany. So yeah, that's basically it for today. If you want to ask me any questions, down below in the description is my Instagram. In the stories, usually I ask you to ask me questions. So that's where all of this is happening. Maybe the next time your question will be in the video. I'm now trying to answer the rest of them, writing the people for like the next half hour. That's all the time I've left for today. I have like three more meetings here in the city, business stuff, tech stuff, lawyer stuff, a bunch of annoying and boring shit. In the dark, we could just let go It's burning like fire, we're too far from home Acting so